Slam that like button if you love cookies. In this video. Great, cause we're going to Burger King. As soon as I get back, okay? I just have to run in and go to the bathroom. Okay, no problem, we'll wait here, Stephanie. Wow, we <laughs> Man, don't go in there anytime soon. Ugh, yeah. oh, what's that awful smell? I don't feel so good. Oh. Oh, what happened to me? Here she comes. Finally, where you been, Stephanie? You have to order here. What can I get for you? Stephanie, uh, uh, don't forget our food. You guys aren't getting any food. Wait, what? I want Happy Meal! Yeah! Um, that's my chocolate bar. My mom just bought that from me. From, from the, blah, 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 blah. What? This chocolate bar? Looks like it smells delicious. She's gone full blown evil! Where are you, you little brat? Oh boy, my favorite, going to the grocery store. There's always so many treats. Molly, we're not gonna get any treats today, just healthy food. Wait, what? But um, I really need this giant gallon size of um cola. No, Molly, no soda. I like that too. What, you don't even drink soda. Well, she does when Molly's home. Have you been feeding baby Kira soda, Molly? Uh -oh. Um, I'm gonna go through the self-checkout. No, no soda, Molly. Mom, please. Oh my gosh, she's gonna make me crazy. Okay, I need some bread and... Okay, how about we get some orange juice? How about potato chips? Molly! <laughs> oh, look! OMG! They have my favorite cereal. They have corn friends and... Pirate cereal! Can I have that, Mom? Please, please, please. Okay, fine. I'll get you the pirate cereal. Yay! Today's the best day ever. I like the vodka. I have more dolls, Mama. I love it. Please, Mama. Oh, it is pretty cute. Yeah, okay. It's springtime, so you'll be playing outside a lot, and having a ball would be super fun to play with. Let's see. What else do we need? Um. Okay, I'll take some pudding. And I need some butter. Oh my gosh, my cart is getting so st stacked up, like so high. Mom, you must just wear me over with the cart, jeepers. I need this expensive shampoo because I have to keep my pigtails perfect. Okay, how much is it? $20. $20? dollars Jiminy Cricket! What's in that shampoo, gold? It makes my hair amazing. Okay, Daisy, you can have it. Oh, this grocery bill is going to be much higher than I thought. Okay, I'll get a chicken and, ooh, fresh fruit. Mama, I like the banana. They're so yummy. <laughs> Pretty soon, we're not even going to be able to see you anymore. There's so much stuff in our cart, baby Kira. Mm -hmm, we'll get some fish. I was thinking I could make that. And apples and watermelon. Holy guacamole. We have so much food in our cart right now. It's like almost stacked to the ceiling. Need some crackers and, oh, a bag of carrots would be really good. <laughs> Mama, you duck it everything up, 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 up. It's going to fall down. Oh, yeah, definitely need some baby diapers. How am I going to be able to stack those? Well, I'll just stack them right here. Some baby food and some toilet paper. Okay. Um, Do I have anybody in front of me? Because I don't want to run into you. No, Mom, you're good. Just go away. Oh my gosh, oh, I think I should have gone to Costco. Seriously, this is a lot of groceries. It's gonna be very expensive from Romart. Okay, time to self-scan all of these. La 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 la. Please enter your tip amount. Tip? But I'm the one that's packaging up all these groceries. Why should I give them a tip? <laughs> Even the machine here wants a tip. Putting this chocolate bar on the vet on the um little machine. Molly, did you seriously just check out a candy bar? Molly! I'll use my allowance, please, Mom! Ugh, fine. One candy bar, I guess, won't kill you. Thank you! I got a candy bar. I'm so happy right now. Alright, girls, uh, let's go. Mom, can we um go to Burger King for dinner? Burger King, no. I want to go to Chick-fil-A. They have salads here that are delicious. I want Happy Meal from McDonald's. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. 
Molly, you want to go to Burger King. Daisy, you want to go to Chick-fil-A. Baby Kira, you want to go get a Happy Meal from McDonald's? Did I hear you correctly? Yep. Yep, I want to go, Boo. I can't tell. I want to go to McDonald's. Girls, we just got $250 worth of groceries from Walmart. We need to go home and make dinner. What? No, Mom. No, I don't want to do that. Yeah, Mom, this would be better if we could just go to get fast food. Uh, you know what? I was not going to, like like eat out tonight but since your dad and i have that work event wait we're gonna get babysitter tonight yeah in about an hour since i don't know how well she can cook i guess i'll leave some money and you guys can go to a fast food place really oh my god mom a candy bar and getting to go to burger king on the same day oh i've died and gone to heaven we better get home though because i have to get dressed up before i go to the party with your dad is this a work thing? Yep, it's the company work party. And we have to get dressed up because there's going to be dancing and food. It's going to be so fun. But you guys are going to have fun with your babysitter. Come on, let's go. Oh, look, Stephanie will be here any minute. Stephanie, I don't remember that babysitter. Yes, you remember. She watched you last month. Oh, yeah. She's like the one and only babysitter that hasn't run out screaming when she babysits me. Yeah, let's try to keep it that way, Molly. Stephanie's really nice. She's the only babysitter that sticks around when she's watching you. Yeah, <laughs> she's pretty cool. All right, girls, I have to go get dressed. I'm meeting your dad down at the police station. I can't wait for the police station ball. This is going to be so much funny. Fun. This is going to be the best party ever. I almost said funny. <laughs> it's probably going to be funny too, but I don't think there's going to be anybody there telling jokes. Holy guacamole, mom. You look like a fairy princess. I am making Snapchat. What? You're not supposed to be on Snapchat. You're too little. So she borrowed my phone for a minute, Mom. Oh, my God. You look like a queen. Oh, thank you. I hope Dad likes this dress, too. Uh, you look amazing. He's going to think your dress is so beautiful. Well, I have to go meet him down at the station. Um, your babysitter should be here any minute. Molly, do you think you could hold down the fort? Yeah. When's she going to get here? She said she's um, coming down the street now. Um, so I'll see you girls after the big party. Yeah, Mom, have the best time ever. Thank you. I can't wait till your dad sees me. <laughs> Molly Snapchatted me already? Jeepers, I just left the house. Aw, she took a snap of me in my gown. Oh, I think that I look really pretty. All right, I'm going to say something back to Molly. Thanks for taking that, Molly. I love you. Behave yourself. Bye. Hey everybody, it's me, Stephanie, and I'm about to go watch some kids from my new business, The Babysitter's Club. If you want me to babysit your kids, all you have to do is call 1-888-BABYSITTERS-CLUB and I'll see if I have any openings. Okay, have a great night, bye. Oh, Stephanie's here. I can't wait to tell her that we can go to Burger King. We're going to Chick-fil-A. Hey, Stephanie, come on in. Hey guys, did your mom already leave for her dance? Yeah, she's so excited. She was wearing this like ball gown. Whoa, cool. Did you take a Snapchat of it? Yeah, it was awesome. Did she tell you that you have to be good and not be naughty? She did say that, but it really only applies to Molly because she's the only naughty one. Whoa, what are you guys watching? The news? Boring. <laughs> That's why I like you, Stephanie, because you're not an old person that likes to watch the news. Except for some reason, the remote control won't work. I bet it just needs new batteries. I have some in my bag. You're amazing. Yeah, but I don't really want to watch TV right now because I'm hungry. And did you bring your car? Yeah, of course. I didn't walk here. Great, because we're going to Burger King. Chick-fil-A, Molly. Ooh, Burger King. That sounds amazing. What? You're siding with Molly? Sorry, I just haven't had their french fries in forever. Where's baby Kira? Oh, wait, there she is. Oh, you don't run out of the house without me, little girl. Sorry, I just want you to have a happy meal. Too bad, she picked Burger King. What? No! Don't worry, they'll still give you a toy, I'm sure. Okay, I five with it, Dad. Ah, someone stole your car, Stephanie! What? No, they didn't. This is Roblox. I have to spawn one. Duh. And I'm just a teenager, but because it's Roblox, I can spawn any car I want. Let's see, what's it going to be? <gasps> a Bentley. Perfect. I just love Roblox for this very reason. 
Uh, yeah, except for the fact that we don't have anywhere to sit. It's Roblox! You guys can sit on the back, I'm sure. Um, okay, I'll try it. No! Okay, fine. I'll spawn a different car. Is this adorable Mini Cooper butter? I'm for the Echo Cube is my favorite color. Still can't believe I can't go to Chick-fil-A. Everybody get in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I've never driven this car before. Well, there goes our tree. <laughs> um, Stephanie, do you actually have a driver's license? Of course I do. Um, okay. Well, did you just start driving? Because you're kind of bad. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Oh, look, there's a cop car. Don't worry, there's no cops on the road. They're all at the party! Oh! I sort of just ran a red light. Oops. And another red light. Maybe we should have walked. There it is! Burger King! Whoa. Well, should we go inside or go through the drive-thru? I prefer going through the drive-thru. Okay, well, I just have to go to the bathroom. Oh, I keep running into trees. So, we can drive through the drive-thru as soon as I get back, okay? I just have to run in and go to the bathroom. Okay, no problem, but we're here, Stephanie. I can't wait to get some onion wings. <laughs> knock, knock! <laughs> Someone's waiting outside the bathroom. Are you almost done? occupy -owed. Um, okay. <laughs> Eleven minutes later. <laughs> oh, boy. <sighs> He's never coming out of that bathroom. Knock, knock! Are you almost done? Um, I really have to go. As I said, occupied. Okay. Uh, I don't know how much longer I can hold it. I have to go to the bathroom so bad. Uh, I really have to go to the bathroom. I'm not sure how much longer I can hold it. I know what I'll do. Wow, we <laughs> man, don't go in there anytime soon. Ugh, yeah. oh, what's that awful smell? <laughs> I don't feel so good. Oh. <sighs> what happened to me? Oh, this bathroom's so smelly. Uh, okay, well, I guess I still need to use it because. Well, it's the only bathroom here. Ugh. That guy definitely ate a bean burrito for lunch. Yeah. Ew. Here she comes. Finally, where you been, Stephanie? Uh, someone was in the bathroom a really long time, and then I woke up on the floor. What? Uh, Stephanie, are you okay? You're just driving the car back and forth. Yeah, I just sort of forgot how to drive a little bit. Are you alright? Maybe you got a concussion. Uh-oh. No, no, I, I'm okay, I think. You just keep driving back and forth. Okay, turn the wheels. Okay, we're going through the drive-thru in a very weird way. Wait, okay. You have to order here. What can I get for you? Um, yeah. I want, um, pizza and a burger, hot dog, and two french fries. Is that all? Uh, yes. Wait, we got our food, Stephanie. Uh, uh. Don't forget our food. You guys aren't getting any food. Wait, what? Uh, who said you guys were getting anything? I'm just using the money that your mom gave for your food for all of mine. <laughs> You're very funny. Um, I'll have the burger with french fries and a Coke, please. Uh, Molly, something tells me she's not kidding. Ooh, this food's gonna be so delicious. I can't wait to eat it all. Oops, I'm gonna pass the window. Wow, you're being a total brat. <laughs> Stephanie, what's gotten into you? She's acting very strangely. Mmm, this is so delicious. Yeah, it smells it. How about we get some? Mmm, I'm gonna go with no. <laughs> How did you guys earn any food? We don't have to earn it. We're human. We need to eat it. And also your driving still stinks. Well, why don't you drive yourself then, since you're so rude? Where's the kid eject button in here? Uh, I don't think that that button comes standard with this car. Yes, it did, Molly! She ejected me out of the car! You're next, brats. I can't wait to on you. I don't want to. Too bad. You guys are being loud and annoying. <gasps> um. Ah! 
What are you doing? You're kicking us out of your car! Mm-hmm. That'll teach you for complaining about my driving. See you later, brats! This is ridiculous! I know, right? Why is Stephanie being so real? I don't know, but I'm Snapchatting this, and I'm telling mom. Yeah, that's probably a good idea, but if you want to get a hold of her, call her. Because she's probably not going to check her Snapchat while she's at Dad's work party. Yeah, true. I'm just going to call her. I've never had so much fun in prison before! Whee! This party's so fun! Hello? Mom, can you hear me? Molly, the music's really loud. I can't hear anything. Talk louder. Oh, I'm having such an awesome time. That's nice, Mom, but our babysitter is evil. You need to come home. What? I can't hear you. I hope you're having a great time with Stephanie. We're not, Mom. Oh, I still can't hear you. Is everything okay? Uh, yeah. Oh, great. Well, I'll see you when I get home. Bye, honey. What did Mom say? Is she on her way home? She couldn't hear anything I was saying. The music was so loud. We're on our own, Daisy. But I'm going to document all of this with Snapchat. Then this babysitter's going to jail. But Molly, I don't think she can really go to jail for not getting his Burger King. Especially when Mom just bought all these groceries at home. We'll just make some food here, I guess. Well, well, well. We'll see about that evil babysitter. Ooh, what do we have here? A chocolate bar? Mm, looks delicious. Beep, beep, beep. Wee, wee, wee. Why are you making that annoying sound? Oh, yeah, because you're an annoying kid. Listen, rude babysitter. Um, that's my chocolate bar. My mom just bought that from me. From, from the, blah, 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 blah. I can't even talk. I'm so mad at you right now for not buying me Burger King. But you're not going to eat my chocolate bar. What? This chocolate bar? Mmm. Looks and smells delicious. I'm going to eat it, and there's nothing you can do about it. Uh-oh. Because I'm big, and you're little, and I'm smart, and you're dumb. Ow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stephanie, you used to be so sweet, and now you're weird and strict. What happened to you? What do you mean what happened to me? I'm just living my best life. As a grumpy, mean babysitter, I'm going to give your babysitter's club business one star. Mm, go right ahead. I, I'm eating your chocolate bar. Mm, it's delicious. Ah! What do you think you're doing with that phone? It's my phone, none of your business. I'm your babysitter. It is my business. Well, if you must know, she's Snapchatting how weird and strict and awful you are. Daisy! Well, I have to tell the truth. It's just how I am. What? Give me that iPhone. Give it to me. Too late! She already sent the snap. Everyone's gonna see you weird and strict. I don't care. Because when I take over this town... <laughs> no one will stop me! God, she's gone full-blown evil! How do you know, Molly? Did she turn yellow? Lost all her hair and has a creepy face. Didn't tell that to you, Daisy? Um, well, I don't know what to tell you, Daisy. You're not very good at seeing evil. When it's standing right in front of you! Get back here, little brats, and give me your iPhones. You won't be Snapchatting in this lifetime. Daisy, I suggest you run! Why? She's chasing you, not me. <laughs> not run! Where are you, you little brat? Hide and seek with the weird, strict babysitter. Oh, God. I'm doomed! Hmm, where did she get to? Daisy, go get Mom! Get to safety! I'm not leaving you here, Molly! Not by yourself! Are you in the closet, naughty little kid? No. Wah-oh! Wah-oh-oh! What's wrong with Stephanie? Wah-oh! Wah-oh! Set me free. What's wrong with Stephanie? Where are you, brats? Let me in, you little brat. I'm coming in, like it or not. Oh, yeah? Well, take this. Oh! <laughs> that was a good one. Oh, it smells so bad. Uh, 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 uh,
That was the end of the weird, strict babysitter. Whoa, Molly! What'd you do? Oh, it stinks in here. Yeah. Now I know what you did. You knocked him out with your power fall. Been there, done that, weird, strict babysitter. <laughs> it's my life. Hey, I didn't think it was that bad. Molly! Okay, it was that bad. What are we gonna do now? Call the cops? Whoa. What happened? Molly, look! She's not the weird, strict babysitter anymore. She's like our old babysitter. Wait a minute. Let's test her. Hey, are you nice or me? What? I'm your babysitter. Ow, I have a terrible headache. I think she has a concussion, Molly. That's why she turned into the weird, strict babysitter. Makes sense. We should call 911. <laughs> Molly, did you send that Snapchat showing everybody the weird, strict babysitter and then her, you falling and her falling on the floor? Um. Oh, boy. I'm sorry, I just, I'm, okay, I did. Oh, yay. Don't worry, Stephanie. We're gonna get you to the hospital right away. Ah, uh, thank you. I, I don't remember anything. <laughs>
sisters. Good morning, class. Good morning. I want to get started right away working on the talent show um, song that we're preparing. So did everyone practice? Um, uh, Molly, I hope you practiced considering you're the lead singer. <gasps> yeah, Molly, don't let us down. Like, you're the in charge of the entire school band. Uh, no pressure or anything. I practiced my part, even though I'm so ready for spring break. Of course you did, Daisy. All right, guys, let's get started. Oh, okay, Molly, you missed your cues. Stop, stop, stop the music. Dad used to be so nice. Now I can give you some advice. Oh my God, she's terrible. We're gonna totally bomb at the talent show. Molly, 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 did you practice at all? And what does your shirt say? No homework? <laughs> well, uh, yeah, exactly. Why don't you go to the principal's office? You've let down the entire band by not practicing. If you continue to not do your homework, you're going to fail this class and probably all of them. Uh, no, I don't need to go to the principal. Uh, let me try it again. Let me give you some advice if you meet this weird guy. <laughs> Holy guacamole, she's terrible. Ow. Okay, Daisy, okay. No need to say anything rude. We'll just have Molly go because she did not do her homework and she knows three no homeworks in a row means going to the principal's office. No, I'm sick of Molly. Just making our band sound terrible. This school talent show is important to our class. Molly, you sting. No. Oh, Daisy, this breaks my heart to say this, but you know our no mean words policy here. Okay, it's number five on our policy paper. You had it text to you, emailed to you, printed out to you at the beginning of the year. No mean words towards other students. You have to go to the principal. What? I don't go to the principal, no, 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 unless they're having me come in there for, like, an award or something. Well, today you're going for a totally different reason. Sorry, Daisy. What? No! <laughs> Molly, this is all your fault. I can't believe it. Um, oops. Molly, I'm at the principal's office and he's weird. But no, he's not. He's totally cool, right? No, Molly. His eyes... They look like weird and strict. Um, that's because he's the principal. He's supposed to be strict. He has to make sure all the students behave and everybody gets along. Oh boy, this is it gonna be good. I can feel it in my bones. Come on, Daisy, don't be afraid. Well, 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 who do we have here? Oh, it's Molly, again. And who is this? Uh, yeah, I was in here last year for the gifted program. Uh, you gave me that award, remember? Yeah, it's my sister. She's in big trouble for being mean. <gasps> what? Mean? Okay, that's it. I have to do it. I'm calling your parents. What? No, that's a little harsh. That's a little strict, don't you think? Yeah, our parents don't need to know about this. I'm afraid they do. I will begin calling your parents now. What? See, I told you, who says that? I will begin calling your parents now. I mean, who doesn't just call them? He's so weird and strict. Yeah, he's about to call mom and dad. Hi. Hello, who is this? Hello, this is the principal. I just called you. Uh, yeah, she realizes that you're on the phone with her. He's so weird and strict. You are and your husband are going to need to come down to the school immediately. Why, are my girls okay? Is everything all right? Well, yes, they're not hurt, but they are being troublemakers. Uh -oh. Please come to the school right away and bring your husband. Um, okay. Wait, is it just Molly or also Daisy? Both of your daughters. Wait, Daisy? Daisy got in trouble? Well, I guess they believe I could get in trouble, Daisy, but not you. Of course they do. Also, your daughter is wearing an anti-homework shirt. She's not allowed at school. Oh, I didn't see her go out of the house with that. I'm so sorry. Okay, um, I'll be right there with my husband. Thank you. Okay, girls, you can go ahead and just stand over there. I'll just sit here. This is going to be a little bit of a wait. 
I'm gonna stay at you nervously. I've got butterflies in my stomach. Oh, my stomach, uh -oh. it hurts so bad. Oh. I can't believe our girls dragged us out of, out of work for this. I can't believe Daisy got in trouble. I mean, I expect that from Molly. She's in detention a lot, but Daisy? You may leave. I want to talk to your parents. Oh, is it just me or is he getting weirder and stricter by the moment? Something's not right about our principal, that's for sure. I'm putting this on Snapchat. Okay. You are now in my house with my rules. Uh, I thought we were at the school. Yeah, I thought we were at the school. No, the school is my domain. <laughs> and your daughters need Discipline. Discipline? Who is this guy? Ay, ay, ay. Molly, where'd you go? Molly! She's probably hiding in the bathroom. That's always where she hides when she's about to get in trouble. Today, Molly wore an anti-homework shirt to school. What? I, I didn't know. I'm sorry. Um, don't worry. I'm a police officer, so my daughter will behave because, you know, we, we run a pretty tight ship at my house. We're pretty strict. Well, honey, not that strict. You need to get stricter. A lot stricter. <gasps> Daisy, what are you doing? Well, Molly, I was Snapchatting because the principal is just seeming kind of weirder and stricter and crazy. Where have you been? I had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I can't see the thought of having mom and dad coming down to the school and hearing how naughty I am every day. Um, just made my tummy a little upset. Yeah, exactly. Mine too. Oh, it looks like mom and dad are coming out of the meeting. Hopefully we don't get grounded for life. Dad! Oh, it's so good to see you. Uh, what are you doing here during the day? You know exactly why I'm here. Girls, go get in the car. Uh-oh! Oh, so just me or does mom and dad look kind of well? Do we look stricter? Because we're about to be. Uh-oh! Molly, Daisy, go inside. You're gonna have lots of chores to do. Let's get straight. Well, at least I got out of school early. This is not so bad. What are you doing? Um, sitting down, waiting for instructions, of course. You look it up and start on a giant list of chores. Uh oh! Starting with a whole new wardrobe. What? No, I like my no homework shirt. Not allowed at school. Your mother has put out some new outfits for you upstairs. <laughs> Go and get changed, right? Um, anybody else notice my parents are getting kind of weird and strict? I think we need to Snapchat this. Uh, everybody look at my parents. They're being weird and strict. No both. Uh, okay. I'll go up and change. I hope it's a really cute outfit. I like unicorns! My mom couldn't possibly mean this shirt or these clothes that she left out for me. Th there's no way! What? What am I wearing? Well, you wanted to wear something weird, so I decided to give you something weird. Mom, I'm not wearing this out of the house. I look ridiculous! What? You're not a Weird Al fan? Uh, well, yeah, but, you know, having a close-up of his face is a little crazy. Well, I think it's awesome. Mom, no, please! Fine. I picked out some other things I think you'll really like. Try them on. Ugh, my mom really has gone weird! I don't really know what's going on with my mom right now, but ever since she met with the principal, some crazy things have been happening, and she's decided that she's going to change my outfits she just thinks that, like, they're not right or something for school, and... Oh, look at that one. I made that myself. I can tell because it's weird! What? Did you just call my shirt weird? Well, if the shoe fits, wear it, princess. <gasps> I can't believe it. I spent so long making that. Mom, we've been home for, like, five minutes. It looks like you cut it out of some construction paper, or that you printed it off on the printer and, like, badly cut it out. I think it's adorable. You know what? Since you don't appreciate my things that I do for you, I have the perfect outfit. Uh, no, I think I'll pass. Pass! You don't get a choice. I'm the mom. Now put it on. 
Oh no! The meowing cats weren't bad, and the weird owl wasn't bad. This one is going to be bad! I just know it! Oh my god, my mom has dressed me like a noob! It says my oof on my shirt. I don't like this one. I'm not wearing Ooh. it. You will wear it, because I said so. Now, time to do some chores. Oh, I don't like chores. Well, you like them now. Um, okay. Ow! I promise I'll never get to go to the principal level again. I have be good. No, too late for that. Now mow the lawn. Uh, we don't have any grass. What time am I supposed to mow? Find some grass and mow it. Um, okay, I'll mow the grass. Holy quackaboli. These kids are such brats. It's so weird. There's a dog house in our backyard. We don't even have a dog. <coughs> Meanwhile, I'm outside mowing bricks. Tell me you're just standing around not doing any chores. What chores? I see that Daisy's mowing the patio for some reason, and I think you guys are just making up chores that don't even exist. <gasps> oh, really? I want you to serve some dog food for the dogs. Mom, we don't own any dogs. Do as I say. Okay, fine. Dog food. I don't even have dogs. Guys, I don't know what's going on with my parents. They're being insane. <laughs> and they just, like, my dad just had Daisy mow the grass, but there is no grass. And my mom is telling me <laughs> to get dog food served for our dogs, except for... We don't even own dogs. I don't know what she's talking about. Well, surprisingly, we actually had dog food, so I guess I'll go out back and feed the dogs. How you doing mowing that non-existent grass? Ah, oh, it's a lot of work, Molly, but you know, I'm handling it. What do you got dog food for? I'm going to feed our dogs. Molly, we don't have a dog, but all of a sudden there's a dog, a dog house in our backyard. I don't even understand. I don't either. Where's these dogs I'm supposed to be feeding? There you are. Come in here, girls. Um, I didn't feed the dogs yet because I didn't know where to feed them. Set that down on the table, please. Um, okay. Do the, do the dogs eat at the table? They sure do. Maddie, our parents have gone all weird and strict. Shh, here comes mom. Oh, perfect. You set it on the table. Now go ahead and sit down and eat. Wait, what? I thought this was for the dog. Uh-oh. Oh, you girls are going to have dog food surprise for dinner. What? Nah, that's where I draw the line. Oh, really? Sounds like these girls need to be grounded for life. Agreed. No dinner for either of you. I uh, know. I'm really hungry. I'll take the dog food surprise. Nope. To bed. What? Ugh. What is wrong with my parents? They've gone crazy. I didn't even get to eat my dog food snack. Now I'm feeling really sad. This is all your fault, Molly. You're the one that that, that that got us in trouble in the first place. Well, I didn't break the rule in school. That would be all you. Oh, yeah, yeah, Molly. What are we going to do? First of all, we're going to Snapchat about this in case someone um needs to see this. Like, they'll see it, and then maybe they'll come rescue us. Come on. Come behind me, Daisy. Okay, there we go. Hey guys, it's Molly and Daisy, and our parents have gone weird and strict, and we definitely need some help over here, um, so try to find us if you can, okay, uh, um, because, uh, Molly, just give them a, a dress. We're not supposed to give our dress out on the internet. Oh yeah, just find us if you can, because our parents have gone weird and strict. Okay, I'm sending the story to everybody at school. Someone will come rescue us. Molly, I hear mom and dad. Quick, put away your phone. Get into bed. Ah! Pretend you're sleeping. Okay, Molly, I'm, I'm going to pretend. Close your eyes if you're pretending. What's this? Two sleeping girls? I guess I don't have to give them another punishment. Yeah, but punishing them is fun. <laughs> Told you they were weird and sweet. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Oh, what time is it? My 
my tummy kind of hurts. Oh, it's only 12.30 at night? Why do I have to go to the bathroom right now? That's so weird. Oh, no. I hope I'm not going to get a stomach ache. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh finally. Ready to the party. Oh, I just totally yeah. feel good. Oh, what's wrong with me? Oh, it was probably nothing. I'll just go back to bed and get a good night's sleep. Five minutes later. Oh no! Not again! Oh. <laughs> yes, I'm definitely sick. Oh. Oh. Is that Daisy's alarm? It's already gone off like three times. Why doesn't she turn that off? That's so annoying. Oh, she's probably in the shower and forgot about it. I have to go turn it off, I guess, unless I want to hear that all the while I'm sleeping in. Daisy, what are you doing? Why are you still in bed? Uh-oh! Oh, Molly, it was up all night long, puffing and running into the bathroom and... Oh, God, Daisy, are you sick? I think so, Molly. Does my face look sick? Um, well, you have a green face and pink spots all over. Yes, you're sick! <coughs> Don't give it to me. Ugh, gross. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Molly. You're so kind. Well, ew, gross. And how come it smells like stinky doo-doo in here? <coughs> because, Molly, I told you it was up all night long sick. Uh-oh. gross. Well, wait a minute. Does this mean you don't have to go to school today? I can't go to school. How sad. Well, why should I have to go to school and you don't? Because, Molly, look at me. I'm green with pink spots. I'm really sick. Now get out of my room. I don't feel good. Fine. I can't believe my sister gets to stay home and I have to go to school. How is that fair? Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> I have the perfect idea. Oh, isn't she so cute when she's asleep in her crib? Look at her little passy. It's so adorable. Baby Kira, come on, sweetheart. It's time to wake up. Come on, I made breakfast. Wake up, sweetie. Which reminds me, Molly and Daisy aren't out of bed yet. Which I would expect from Molly, but Daisy? Hmm, she must have overslept. Oh, my stomach hurts so bad. Daisy? What's going on, honey? You're not out of bed yet. She looks sick. She definitely sick, Mama. I can't sick, baby Kira. I, I don't feel so good, Mom. Oh, you look green. And are those spots all over your face? Oh, my goodness, honey. I don't get eyes. I don't get eyes on people. Daisy, feel bad. Oh, baby Kara, I don't think it should be around your sister right now. She might be contagious. Ow. I can't just tell Mama, though. Oh, she just wants to help, honey. So, what are your symptoms? Well, I was up all night. Puking and running to the bathroom. I feel super cold, but my skin feels hot, and I feel nauseous still. Oh my, that definitely sounds some, like some sort of flu. You need to stay home from school. I'll call the school. Thanks, Mom. I really don't want to miss school today. I know. Well, I got the mom, but I take your temperature. Whoa, that thermometer looks weird. Oh, I brought it home from the hospital. It's a new type of thermometer. It works really well. It's very accurate. Okay, hold still. Baby Kira's going to take your temperature. Whoa, your temperature's 103.2. Wow, you're definitely going to need to take some medicine to bring that down. After I wake up, Molly, I'll bring you some medicine. Okay, sweetie? Okay, thanks, Bob. Uh-oh. Here comes Mom. I have to get back in bed. Oh, oh, I'm so sick. <sighs> Molly, are you okay? No, I'm so sick. Oh, really? Well, what are your symptoms? Um, 
I farted and it smelled like a taco. What? I've got an upset stomach is what I'm trying to say. Yes, it's terrible. I can't go to school. Absolutely not. I have to stay here and play Roblox all day. Really? Are you faking being sick because your sister is sick? What? No, I didn't even know she was sick. Yes, you did, Molly. You came in here. Molly, do you want to get grounded? No. Are you really sick? Um, the thought of going to school and having to face my teacher and not having done my homework makes me kind of sick. Uh-oh. Molly, get out of bed. Go down and eat breakfast. I have to bring Daisy some medicine. Ugh. Why don't you believe me, Mom? Because, Molly, I think you're just sick because you have to go to school. Not because you're actually sick. Now go get ready. Fine. Ow. I'm coming with the medicine, Daisy. Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. She always gets away with everything. I get the buddy daddy to the bar. I nurse baby Kira. Oh, <laughs> your nurse baby Kira. Aren't you adorable? Okay. Mom made pancakes, so I guess this makes this day a little bit better, but, you know, not totally. Still have to go to school. My sister gets to stay home. Mm. Oh, look at that extra syrup. Delicious. So delicious. I can't stop eating it, for real. Mm. I want some more. It's so delicious. I really want some more. <laughs> oh, my God. I love when you're playing Roblox. You try to place something on the table, and, like, it ends up some somewhere weird. <laughs> Look at my plate of pancakes. It's literally like balancing on the edge of that chair. <laughs> Sometimes Roblox glitches are so ridiculous. Ugh, why do I eat so many pancakes? My stomach kind of hurts. <gasps> I hope I didn't catch it. Molly, you didn't catch anything. You just ate too many pancakes. Yeah, but since when have I not been able to eat a ton of pancakes? Like never. I always eat every single pancake in the entire world. Daisy, you're so lucky you get to stay home. I don't think she's very lucky, Molly. Look at her. She looks terrible. I could have found you for you feel bad. Here you go, Daisy. Why am I drinking that from Baby Kira's sippy cup, Mom? Um, well, <laughs> I haven't run the dishwasher yet. It's all I had. Besides, remember when you were little? It was the only way you take medicine is in your bottle or your sippy cup. Mom, seriously? Well, it's all I have clean, so just, just drink it, okay? Uh, I I just gotta make sure Molly's getting ready to get on the bus. I'll be right back to check on you. Don't worry, Mama. I know it's baby Kira. I take good care of Daisy. Ugh, those pancakes were like too much. Seriously. Oh, I feel like... Uh, uh, well, at least I'm ready for school. I guess that's something. I'm gonna snap my adorable outfit right now because I do look super cute. Look at me. I have on my unicorn sweatshirt. So cute. It has all the colors of the rainbow on it. Just a pair of jeans. And yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually give myself this cute. I think I'm gonna give myself <laughs> that's perfect to go with my unicorn. Yes! Sending it to everyone I know. Send to everyone. <laughs> Hello, bouncy bird. We meet again. Ah! Oh, no! Ooh. Why can I never, ever win at this game? I can never win. I shall beat you, bouncy bird. If it's the last thing I do. Whoa. You can't touch, Ooh. like, oh, whoa, life pay? No, I don't, I don't have any money. I just have to start over from the beginning. Oh! <laughs> Molly, are you getting ready for school? Uh-huh, yep, sure I am. Um, Molly, are you dressed? Yep, dressed. Oh, this game. Are you playing games on your phone? Um, caught you. Come on, the bus is going to be here any minute. Okay, fine. Don't, don't get back in bed. Sorry, that I didn't mean to. That was a Roblox thing. I swear it. <laughs> Does anyone else out there um get on the bus before the sun even comes up. Like, how ridiculous is this? We are not supposed to be waking up this early in the morning. Seriously. I I, I think that we should change this about it. I'm like, no more getting on the school bus when it's dark. That's too early. It's way too early. I guess um, the sun just comes up as I'm getting on the bus because I'm only the second person that gets picked up in the entire school. Hey, good morning, Molly. 
Wait, where's Daisy? Okay, everybody. Um, we're gonna go pick up the other students, so make sure you stay in your seats. Yeah, I know, Bacon Hair. We hear ya. Oh, if 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 I could only stop being a noob, I could get a better job than school bus driver, and I could actually, you know, buy some shoes. I mean, why am I such a Bacon Hair? Hey, being a school bus driver is very important work. Yeah, and, and until you get homework crumpled up and thrown at your bacon hair. Okay, maybe the students are a little cray-cray with you, Bacon, but, you know, overall, this has got to be a great job, right? I don't know. Remember when we all got the stomach bug and we were throwing up all over the bus and then someone threw up in Bacon's hair? Yeah, remember that? Oh, yeah, that was pretty terrible. I think I have a Snapchat of that. Let me look at my phone and see. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, no, I think it got erased. That would have been amazing if I still had that. Oh, yeah, it's a memory I want to remember forever, not. Anyway, Molly, where's Daisy? Did she get a ride from your mom or something? No, she's sick with none other than the flu. What? Is she going to be okay? I'm sure she is. I just think it's really unfair that she gets to stay home while I'm at school. Well, in her defense, Molly, do you really want to be home puking and everything? If it meant I could miss doing homework, yes! Okay, class, I need everyone to um, hand in your homework last night. Did anybody have any questions about it? Homework? Uh, homework? What homework? Molly, you have homework every single night except for the weekend. You knew you had homework. Uh, Molly, did you not do your homework again? <gasps> um, uh... Molly, you know, I'm a really cool teacher and all, but I just have to tell you that, well... I'm giving you detention. Detention? Mr. Snickerbucker, you can't do this! I, I've i never had detention in my life. I, I am the most best student in the whole world! This is shocking to me. <laughs> Molly without detention is like me without blue hair. Pfft, you're crazy. Billy, I don't know what you're talking about. Your hair isn't blue. Molly, sit down. But I don't want detention, please! Coming to school today was enough work. Well, you also need to do your homework, and you know this, Molly. Now sit down and take your detention because it's what you're getting. Ow! Detention? Ugh! You know, you could actually do your homework, and then you wouldn't get in trouble. Well, how does that help me now? I've already got the detention. Ooh, my tummy feels kind of weird. Uh, Mr. Schindenbacher, can I go to the bathroom? No, Molly, you need to do your work. I don't really have to go. Please, 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 please. Okay, but hurry back. Okay, I will. Ah! Oh, my God, my stomach really hurts. Oh, I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. Ah, why was the door open? Oh, okay, I just had to pull the handle. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Oh, wait, I didn't even close the door. <laughs> that could have been really bad. Oh, my stomach hurts. Oh, I ate so many pancakes. I always think I can eat more pancakes than I actually can. Too many! Okay, okay, I think I'm okay now. <sighs> Don't go in that bathroom, though. Woo-wee, it's closed for the rest of the day. Thank you for joining us again, Molly. Uh, you're welcome. I didn't know it was such an amazing thing to have me in your class. It's not. Okay, everybody else has their books out, Molly, except for you. That's because my stomach's kind of really upset. Uh-huh, sure. Don't try to get out of detention. I'm not trying to get out of detention. Please. My tummy really hurts. I'm like, are you okay? Not really, Brookie. My stomach is just really hurting me. Oh, no, Molly. You don't think you caught Daisy's flu, do you? <gasps> I don't know. Oh. Okay, Molly. I want you to go up to the board and read what's on it for me, please. Okay. If you really want me to. Oh, oh my uh -oh. stomach! Oh. oh, Molly, why didn't you go to the bathroom? Because I told you I needed to go and you wouldn't let me. Oh, yuck. Sorry. <laughs> what is a continent? A continent is a very large landmass. Woohoo! Saved by the bell. Everyone is dismissed to lunch. Ugh, lunch. That doesn't sound very good. Hey, kids. What's up? Hey, Large Marge. Whoa, Molly, look. She has your favorites out today. Pizza, cheeseburgers, everything you love. French fries. Ugh, I don't want any of it. What? Wait, what? Are you kidding me right now, Molly? 
you love this stuff. I'm Snapchatting it because this is like the most delicious like lunch we've had in all like the school year pretty much. I'm choosing a cheeseburger. I don't want to Snapchat lunch. Molly, are you okay? Maybe you did actually get sick. Come on, try something. Okay. Ugh. Nah, I'm just gonna put my tray back. Oh, did you have the hiccups, Molly? Yeah. And, and, uh-oh. I gotta go to the bathroom again. Molly, are you okay? Oh my gosh, I think Molly might be sick. Oh, why are the bathrooms so far away? Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Um, I have to clean the bathrooms. Oh, no. Huh. Why does a janitor have to come in right when I'm in the bathroom? Uh, somebody's in here. Okay, well, the bathroom's gonna be closed in two minutes because I have to actually clean it. Ooh. No, it can't be closed. Molly, are you in there? Prookie, oh, no. Molly, are you okay? Oh, ew. There's a bunch of pink on your face. Why does it look like a rainbow? Oh, I ate some Skittles on the school bus. Whoopsie. Ugh, Molly, gross. Okay, girls, I need you to get out of here because, ew, it really needs to get cleaned. Um, sorry, but, um, I think I might have the stomach bug and... Oh, great. No, I'm gonna catch uh -oh. the stomach bug. Wait a minute. Aren't you the school bus driver? Yeah, but I wanted to be able to get a pair of shoes, so bacon hair has to have two jobs, okay? And now, also, the third job is going to be uh, canceled because I'm going to catch a stomach bug from you. Wow, Bacon, you really do have a rough life. Only, I think you need to go to the school nurse. Stat! Ugh. Oh, can't make it! Blech. Yeah, Molly, I'm walking you to the school nurse right now. Come on. Ugh. Thanks for being such a good friend, Brookie. Molly, I really hope you feel better. Also, don't give me the flu. I'm trying not to, Brookie. I'm trying not to. Well, hopefully the nurse will just call your mom and you can go home. Uh, and also you still look like you're puking. Uh, uh. Oh, hello there. Um, checking into the nurse's office? Yeah. Oh, you look terrible. Ooh, why do you have rainbow puke? I ate Skittles on the school bus on the way to school. Oh my. Okay, let's take your temperature. Go ahead, lay on the nurse's cot. The magic nurse's cot. Everybody knows this will make you feel better. If anything will make you feel better, the magic nurse cot will. That's right, sometimes all you need to do is just lay down for a few minutes and then you'll feel better. I have to Snapchat this, this is kind of crazy. You need to lay down. I know, but first I wanna show everybody that I was throwing up. Look, I'm going to be like a dog throwing up. <laughs> Don't I look adorable? Not. Um, this is more like it. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> OMG. I'm sending it to everybody I know. I put on a face mask, Molly, obviously, because you're sick. Could you lay down, please? I'm, I'm trying to lay down, but this game won't let me, and I'm really sick, and I need to lay down. Come on, Roblox. What's wrong with you? I'll give you a go. Thank you for laying down. Okay, just hold still. I'm gonna take your temperature. Oh, wow. Over 100. And I suspect it's going to keep climbing since you are throwing up. Yeah, I don't feel so good. I'm going to call your mom. Can I go home? Yes, she'll have to come pick you up. It's ringing, Molly. Ugh, thank goodness, I can't wait to go home. Hello? Oh, hi, is this Laura Acker? Yes, it is. Oh, no, don't tell me Molly got suspended. <gasps> what? No, she's in the nurse's office. She's not feeling well. Ugh, she's always trying to get away with that. She's just faking it. No, Mrs. Acker, I actually took her temperature and she's throwing up. She's actually really sick. Wait, what? Okay, tell Molly I'll be there in 15 minutes to pick her up. All right, I will. Thank you. Well, your mom thought you were faking it. Do you often pretend that you're sick? Only when I don't want to go to school, do my homework, or be responsible for anything. Okay, so a lot. You might want to stop doing that. She didn't quite believe that you were sick. So wait, she's not coming to get me? I'm stuck on the nurse's magic cot when I want to go home and get in my pajamas and eat popsicles. No, honey, she's coming to pick you up. You just rest, and when she gets here, she can come get you. Thank you. I'm so sorry, but I have to...
have to run over to the school. What? Do you can't leave me. I need more popsicles. And I need you to tell me, oh, there, there, are you okay? Oh, honey, as much as I'd love to stay here and baby you while you're sick, I have to run over to, this, pick up this, over to the school and pick up your sister because she's also sick. She's faking it. She's not even sick. Actually, the school nurse called and she caught your stomach bug too or whatever this is. I don't have it. Oh. That's right. Hopefully you don't get it, baby Kira. It's terrible. You don't want it. I feel bad for Molly. Yeah, me too. Okay, I'm going to run over there with baby Kira. I'll be back in like 15 minutes, okay? Okay, mama, I'll text you if I need anything. Okay, honey, I'll be right back. Oh, no! Money's got the bug, too! Mama, I like it. Coco Mom went on your phone. Of course you can watch it on my phone, honey. Oh, but I think you should stay away from Molly and Daisy. I love them. I like to stay away from them. I know, honey. But the truth of the matter is, they both are sick, and I don't want you to catch it. Mama, I make a Snapchat. Oh, that's so cute, honey. But listen to what I'm saying. No catching what your sisters have. I have one, Mama. Well, where's my mom? I need to go home. Molly? Oh my goodness, Molly, you look so sick. Get in, honey. Mom, I'm sorry, but I'm not faking it this time. Not sweetheart. But maybe you should stop faking things so much in the future, so you're believed. Yeah, you're probably right, but ugh. My stomach is so upset. I threw up at school. And it was like rainbows from the snacks I ate on the school bus. Ew. And aww. And also, ew. Okay, Mom's gonna run in and just get some chicken noodle soup and some other supplies, okay? Hang tight. Okay, Mom. Uh-oh. 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 I think I'm gonna throw up right here. Yep. I'm gonna. Blah. Ew, this is terrible. I feel like some sort of monster on Halloween. Oh, worst day ever. I forget autumn. I got on Snapchat. Take a look. I'm back, girls. Are you okay, Molly? No, she flew up everywhere. I sent a snap of it to everyone. You did not, did you, baby Kira? Ah, uh, yeah, I did. OMG! Oh, baby Kira! Oh my gosh, you caught it barfing! Oh, that is so embarrassing. Mom, why'd you let her use your phone? Um, sorry. Oh, my life as I know it is over. Oh, Molly, this will blow over, I promise. Okay, let's go home and get you tucked into bed. I thought it was funny. Yeah, real funny. Uh-oh, I might have to have you pull over, Mom. Seriously, we're almost home. I know, but I'm going to throw up again, I think. Oh, no, Molly. All right, I'll take a shortcut. Okay, we're here. I got to run to the bathroom. Oh, this has been the worst stomach bug of my entire life. Oh, Oh, wait, where's the bathroom? I can't even remember. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh. What? What happened to the toilet? Uh -oh. Okay. Someone took the toilet out of our bathroom. Sorry, Molly, it wasn't working. So the repairman came today to take it back to his shop and fix it. Oh, who does that? Who steals a toilet? That's like something the Grinch would do. What am I going to do without a toilet? Use a different bathroom. Oh. I Snapchat that, Molly. What? What? Yeah, you were talking about how there was no toilet. It was funny. Ah, oh, give me that phone. I'm going to smash it. Get away, that mom phone. Give me that phone. I don't want people to see me like this. It's embarrassing. I'm going to smash it. I'm going to smash that phone. And Snapchat with it. Molly, that's my phone. And it's a brand new iPhone. I haven't even paid for it yet. Well, tell baby Gary to stop Snapchatting everything. Because it's embarrassing. Yeah. I'll tell her. You go up and get in bed. Obviously, you're very sick. Okay. <laughs> Molly? Molly? Do you want to just get in here with me since we're both sick? Yeah. Oh, I feel terrible. At least you didn't get the pink spots. Yeah, I guess that's one good thing. <laughs> Oh, I feel 
Do you feel better? I feel so much better. Yeah, I feel like all better. Thank goodness, that stomach bug was terrible. I know, right? Thank goodness it's over. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I'm actually like thinking like, wow, I would rather go to school than have that stomach bug. Ugh, I even slept in my clothes last night because I was too tired to even get in my pajamas. <coughs> Is that baby Kira crying? Sure sounds like it, Miley. I wonder if mom's taking care of her. I'm gonna go check. <laughs> Baby Kira? Baby Kira? Oh my gosh, Baby Kira, are you okay? I'm feel good. <gasps> oh gosh. Um, let me see what is considered a fever that I should take you to the emergency room if you're a baby. Um, all right, I better get my thermometer. Oh my gosh, this is definitely a fever you need to go to the hospital for. 102? Baby Kira, wake up. Baby Kira? Oh my gosh, she's not waking up. Molly, Daisy, someone call 911. What did mom just say? I think she said baby Kira is having trouble waking up. She's really sick, Daisy. I, I need to call 911. Call them really quick, Molly, do it. 911, what's your emergency? Hi, I need an ambulance in my house. My baby sister, she's not really responding and she's sick with the bug or something. I don't know. We'll send an ambulance out immediately. Okay, thank you. <laughs> she's in here. She's in here. Okay, ma'am. I'm going to do my best to take good care of your baby. Baby Kira, can you hear me? I told you I feel good. Oh, she's responding. Thank goodness. I was so worried. Excuse me, ma'am. You're going to have to leave. What time? Her mother. I'm not leaving. Well, you keep running into me, and I can't do my job if you're, well, in the way. I, 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 okay, fine. I'll wait outside the door, but take good care of my baby. Don't worry. I'm going to. Okay, baby Kira. I'm going to um, listen to your heart, and I'm then I'm going to put you in the ambulance, and we're going to go to the emergency room. But don't worry, when this is all over, you can have a delicious lollipop. Yeah, baby Kira, everything's gonna be fine. Doesn't this thing go any faster? Nope, this is as fast as it goes. But don't worry, I'm gonna get your baby there just as soon as possible. I'm just so worried. Yes, this one goes faster. Pull over and let me drive. Okay, fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You forgot to hit the brake. You're a terrible driver for a paramedic. Hey, I just take care of people. I didn't say that I was a good driver. Well, I'm an awesome driver, and we're getting my baby there quicker because she's really sick. Hey, baby Kira, mommy's driving now. Everything's good. I'll feel good to get my baby you. Everything's going to be okay, sweetheart. I promise. Not with you driving. You're a maniac. What? No, I'm not. I'm a good driver. I've never even gotten a ticket. Honey, are you okay? No. This is all our fault. What? <gasps> Why is it our fault? Because we brought this flu home and now baby Kira is so sick because she's a baby and it's it's really my fault. Molly, the flu is just a bug. I mean, anybody can get the germs. We wash our hands, we do our best, but she's still caught it. The stomach flu is very, very contagious. <sighs> I just wish I had known I was coming to the hospital. I actually would have worn some shoes. Oh, I'm just so worried about baby Kira. Oh, my poor baby. I hope that you're okay. I really hope that you're okay. Hey, everybody. It's Dr. Miley, and I'm so smiley because today is my first day at my new hospital. I'm so excited to take care of so many adorable kids as your favorite doctor, Dr. Smiley Miley. <laughs> Oh, look, I'm gonna dress up as a little dog. Cute! <laughs> Alright, time to go see my first patient. Bye, everybody! What patient do I have first? Let's go see. Oh, what's going on here? Can you tell me your daughter's symptoms? Yes, my other two daughters who are older had what seemed to be the stomach bug. And now my baby has whatever they have, I think. Oh, 
Well, we should run some tests and find out. Would you mind if I shared this on my TikTok? What? Yes? Oh, sorry, some of my patients actually let me um, just share their case on my Instagram and on my TikTok because I'm kind of a famous doctor here in the Children's Hospital. Have you heard of me? Smiley Miley. Wait, what? You're Smiley Miley? Oh my God. Did you hear that, baby Kara? We're going to be famous. But first of all, let's get your baby girl feeling so much better. Okay, sweetheart, I know you don't feel good, but I just need you to lay completely still while I do this x-ray of your chest and your tummy. I just wanna make sure that nothing else is going on, okay? Okay, the machine, let me just take, make sure it's in the right position. Okay, perfect. Beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. I look at your boy, you up here. Oh no, the machine doesn't actually make that sound. I just do for fun. Beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop. Shouldn't it make that sound though? I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's so quiet, it's weird. Beep, boop, beep, beep, boop, beep. Okay, we're done. Let's take a look at your x-ray. Oh, wow. Yeah, you definitely have a sad, frowny face type of x-ray. Cause you have an infection. You definitely need some medicine. Come on, sweetie, let's go back and see your mom. I'll have you feeling better in no time. For that matter, I think you can probably just spend the night for one night and then go straight home to rest in your own crib. Baby Kira, I was so worried. Is everything gonna be okay? I took a x-ray of her chest and tummy and it does look like she has um, an infection. So I'm gonna give her some medicine and keep her for observation overnight, okay? Okay, but she'll be okay? Yeah, she's a great and healthy little girl. She should be fine once this medicine gets in her system. Thank you, Dr. Smiley Miley, you're amazing. You're welcome. Here I am with my amazing little patient, baby Kira. Where are you, baby Kira? Where'd you go, where'd you go, where'd you go? <laughs> anyway, guys, oh, she's kind of being shy. Oh, wait, there she is. Yeah, she's adorable. And guys, today I'm gonna make baby Kira feel all better. So make sure you log in to all of my social media channels to see how I do it. Bye. So we just got home from the hospital, everybody. Uh, my sister, baby Kira, is feeling so much better. She's just coming into the house now. And she got medicine, so she's she's feeling much better. And my sister and I are all feeling better. Everyone's healthy. That's right, girls. Oh, I've had the most worrisome week ever. But at least we get to go back to school. What? Back to school already? Yeah, Molly, everybody's healthy. You get to go back to school. Ugh. Oh, wait. Um, Brookie's calling me, guys. I gotta end this snap. Whoa, she tried calling me like five times. <sighs> Hello? Hey, Molly. Ugh. I am so sick. What? Oh no, you caught it. Yeah, did it feel like your stomach was trying to crawl outside of your body? Yep. Did it feel like you had to run to the bathroom every five seconds? Yep. Did it feel like you were dying? Yes, it totally did. Oh no, Bookie, I'm so sorry. We won't see you at school. Oh, this is terrible. Sorry. Uh, if we give it to you, I'm really sorry, Brookie. Girls, um, you have to say goodbye right now. There's something important on the news. Okay, Mom. Um, I gotta go, Brookie. I'll call you later to check on you. Bye, Molly. Bye. Feel better. Next up, we talk about a woman goes missing for years. But first, Brooke, this is crazy. All of our town is shut down for a week. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Oh, it's true. The entire town has got the stomach on. Oh my God. Do you think our toilets can handle that? Let me answer that. Probably not. School is closed for the rest of the week. Everybody, please stay home, stay inside. Just DoorDash so that no one has to see the anyone else and we can just stop the spread of this crazy stomach bug virus. Molly, we seriously infected the entire town. Ow! Um, oopsie! <laughs>
already? Today's the day, today's the day, today's the day. Honey, why are you awake so early? Because I'm so excited. They are going to give someone a promotion at work. And I've been doing so good. I just know it's me. I'm going to get a better job. And I'm going to make so much more money. Well, what happens if you don't get the job? Oh, thanks for your vote of confidence. I'm just saying, honey, don't get your hopes too high up. Sometimes you don't always get what you want. Yeah, but I've been working so hard. I'm pretty sure this is going to happen. And when it does, we're going on a family vacation this year. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to go wake up the girls because I need to make sure I'm at work on time today. I better wake up Molly because she always has trouble getting out of bed and I literally cannot be late for work today. Molly! <sighs> Mom, Molly, did she just get up and run around her bed and then go right back to sleep? <sighs> Molly, I'm telling you, can you hear me right now? Yes, I can hear you. You need to get up or I'm going to be late and I cannot be late. Okay, Mom, I can hear you. I will absolutely get out of bed. Maybe. All right, time to wake up Daisy. I'm about to wake Mom and doing my aerobics, and I'm just getting some cardio this morning. Okay, great, Daisy. Well, I have a really important day at work, and I can't wait because I think I'm going to get a promotion. Good job, Mom. Congratulations. Have a good day, honey. I'll see you after work. Good luck with your job promotion. Thank you. What should I wear? I mean, today's such an important day. I have to look amazing. These are my most favorite scrubs. They're kind of like good luck for me. <laughs> and well, I think today is gonna be a fantastic day. Molly, the bus is here. <laughs> See you after school, girls. Have a great day. Well, lo and behold, my sister is late for school again. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, everybody, good morning. Just making a snap to show you my face and say, I'm still here and I'm ready to have a great day. <laughs> Gotta go. Don't want to miss the school bus. Is that Molly snoring? Well, it's not Daisy. She ran out the front door. Molly! Huh? What? What? What's, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's, what's going on? Molly, you were supposed to be up 30 minutes ago and on the school bus with your sister. What are you still in bed for? Um, I accidentally fell back asleep. Molly! Ugh! I have my job promotion today. Well, correction. I might not actually get the promotion, but... Ah, get in the car! But I didn't brush my teeth yet. Brush them at school. I didn't eat breakfast. I don't know. I eat lunch when you get to school. But lunch isn't breakfast, and I'll be hungry. Molly, I cannot be late for work today. Hurry, Molly, get in. Oh, no. I forgot my homework. Are you serious? Yeah, and if I don't go get it, I'm going to get detention. You don't want that, do you? Oh, Molly, hurry! Oh no, oh no, I don't want to be late for my promotion. Oh, this kid always makes me late for work. Ah! Now, where did I put my homework? The last time I had it, I was getting a snack out of the refrigerator. <laughs> uh, did I leave it in there? No, but ooh, leftover pizza. Mm, delicious. OMG, what is taking her so long? Molly! What? Ah! Uh, Molly! Oh my god, did you find your homework? Um, uh, Molly, it's up in your room. Take the pizza to go! Sorry, Mom! I bet you are. You're always sorry when you make me late for work, but today is kind of important. Come on, Molly! Coming! Oh no, I forgot my teddy bear! What? Your teddy bear? What do you need a teddy bear for? Um, it was bring your teddy bear to school day. Mom, oh, Mom, you're being kind of crazy with your driving right now. You'll have to take your teddy bear to school some other time. I cannot be late for this job promotion. Mom, stop saying. Whoopsie. <laughs> I totally paused. Mom, do you even know the way to my school? Yes, I know the way to your school. Hey, there's Daisy. Hey, get out. Mom, you just ran into the building. <laughs> um, yeah, my driving isn't that good this morning because I'm in a hurry. Bruh. Love you. Have a great day. Oh, no, my car Bruh. is stuck. Ah, okay, there we go. Molly, what have you been doing? What were you doing? You just got here. 
No, Miley, I didn't. I actually took the trash out for the teacher. Ugh, you're such a goody two-shoes. Whoa, I drove right past the hospital. Can you guys tell that I'm a little bit nervous? Good morning, Susie. Oh, good morning, Laura. You're late again. Oh, I know, but I, my daughter, she's just... You better go in and see him. He's waiting for you in his office. Oh my gosh, here we go. I bet he's gonna give me the promotion. Ah, I'm so excited. Good morning, Laura. Oh, good morning, Mr. Glenn. I'm so glad you called me into your office. I'm really excited this morning. And very late. Oh, sorry about that. My daughter, Molly, she's, uh, well, a little bit of trouble, but she's a good kid. She, she, she is a good kid. Uh-huh. Yes, um, but here at this job, we have expectations. Yes, and I always meet the expectations with the patients. Uh-huh, so I have something that I need to talk to you about. Uh, yes, I, I agree, and I'm really excited. You are? Yeah, this is going to be an amazing opportunity. Um, yeah, starting over can be an opportunity. Yep, a new position. Uh-huh. Well, we're gonna miss you here at the hospital. Huh? Miss me at the hospital? Wait, does this promotion mean I'm gonna be working at a different location? No, what promotion? I'm not giving you a promotion. Wait, weren't we just talking about the promotion? I was going to be making an extra $50 an hour. No, you're not getting a promotion. You're getting fired. Wait, what? F -f 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 fired? I've been working at this job for years, sir. Why am I getting fired? I don't understand. You've been late every single day for almost a month. That's because my daughter Molly, she never gets to the bus on time. I always have to drive her to school. Well, whatever the reason, we need somebody who's dependable here for this job position. So we are, well, firing you. Firing me? F -f 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 firing me? Did they take the picture? Do they post it on the news? <laughs> wow, must have been mind blowing. <laughs> Honey, are are you okay? <laughs> You're so excited, aren't you? <laughs> Honey, what's going on? You're freaking me out right now. I, I, I got fired. Wait. What? You got fired? For what? You've been at that job forever! Plus, we need that money to help pay our bills. I... I was late again. Wait, why? Because Molly didn't get out of bed like I asked her to when I had to drive her to school. That's it. She's grounded for the rest of her life. I... I don't know what I'll do. I've always worked at the hospital. I love working at the hospital. And now I'm fired! <laughs> okay, honey. It's okay, don't don't cry. You're a very smart woman. You could get a job anywhere, and there's lots of businesses here. Tomorrow morning, you can start off looking for a new job. I'm sure you'll find something amazing. I, I hope so. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I'm just making this Snapchat because I had a terrible day yesterday. I got fired from my job, but as you can see, I'm still smiling right now because Today is a new day. It's actually so early in the day that um, the sun hasn't even come up yet, but I'm determined to find a new career today. So guys, wish me luck. Well, here goes nothing. I think I saw that the bank was hiring. Yeah, totally on my list. All right, let's go over to the bank and see if I can get a job there. That'd be a really good job to have. Good morning, welcome to Keep Safe Bank. How can I help you today? Oh, hi. Uh, I saw that you were interviewing for new new um, bank tellers. Oh, yes. Come right into my little office here. <laughs> Nothing fancy at the bank. Except for all the money. That's pretty fancy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty good with money, actually. I have so much in my savings account because uh, I had a steady job for 10 years. I mean, steady as can be. Oh, that's good to hear. You sound reliable. Um, do you have any banking um, experience? Uh, yes, I go in every Friday to cash my check. Oh, I meant like, have you worked in banking? Did you go to college for it? Uh, no. Well, what? 
did you do for 10 years then? I worked at the hospital. Oh, sorry. Hospitals and banks are a lot different. Can't work here. Oh. Okay, thank you for your time. Bye. Hopefully you get another check, though, so you can come back on Friday. Uh, no, I can't. I got fired. Whoa, harsh. Well, good luck with the job search. Thank you. Oh, man. Okay, that's okay. It's just one job that I didn't get. I'm sure I can find something else. According to my list, Paw Palace is hiring. They have rare exotic pets. Do they call hamsters rare and exotic? I could totally do this job. Of hamsters and dogs and cats. Welcome. Please wait for the staff. Okay, well, are you staff? Yes, but we have to say that because sometimes our animals get a little crazy and they think they can talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very funny. Hey, I'm looking for a job. This seems like a great place to me. Whoa. <laughs> What's that over there? Lady, if you've never seen a monkey before, you probably shouldn't be working here. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to say what's that. I knew it was a monkey, but you guys have a pet monkey? Yeah, he's so crazy. Sometimes he likes to throw poo-poo at the customers. <laughs> You're so funny. No, for real. Watch out. What? Ew, we landed on my head. Sorry about that. I told you the monkey was kind of crazy. OMG. Ew, why is it blue? This monkey loves blueberries. <laughs> you get it? What? Um, yeah, I don't want to work here. But you'd be great at the job. He loves you. No, thank you. Oh, this job search is not going so well. Park is hiring and, well, I need to work somewhere. Now, where is the manager? Yo, what's up? You looking for a job? Oh, I'm a little frazzled right now, but hey, why you got a poop on your head? Oh, no, I forgot to wipe that off. Excuse me. I'll just use my phone like a mirror. That way I can see it. And oh my God, I'm on Snap. And I just sent it to everybody. Oh my gosh, I didn't mean to do that. Oopsie, having the worst day ever. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that was kind of funny. <laughs> Whoa, what happened to you? I was just doing a little maintenance on one of the pieces of uh, amusement park ride equipment and um, things didn't go quite as I planned. So, um, do you have any uh, experience? Uh, no, I'm not really into amusement parks, but I'm super smart and um, I'm sure I can do this. Okay, well, we have one rule before you get hired here. Okay, I'm sure I can meet it. What is it? You actually have to ride the rides to make sure that you're excited about the job. What? What? Why? Because we're all about bringing fun to everyone here. And if you're not having fun, our customers won't be having fun. <gasps> Go ahead, get on the roller coaster. Um, I'm not really a big roller coaster person. I hope you didn't just say that, because you're not going to get hired. Okay, fine. I'll get on the roller coaster. Fine. Enjoy your ride. It's probably going to be super fun and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yep, it sure will be if you really like <laughs> roller coasters. Yep. Oh, boy. Okay, just try not to lose your lunch, Laura. Keep from throwing up. Nope, I'm definitely gonna. Oh, no. Yeah, you can't work here. Well, at least get me off of here. Sorry, it's a 10-minute ride. Ah! Just kidding. Get off the ride. Also, you're not a good candidate. Oh, I think I might have left some throw up in your car. That's all right. I'll take care of it. Sorry. God, I'm out of job options. We're going to be homeless. Oh. Well, I guess there's only one choice left. Hey, what can I get for you? <laughs> McDonald's, by the way. Oh, hi. Um, Can I speak to your manager, please? Why? What happened? Did you get like, um, like a rat in your french fries or something? <laughs> what? No. I just am looking for a job. I need the manager. I want to speak to them about getting a job. Well, you're speaking to the manager. What? You're like 16 years old. You still have a bunch of pimples. How can you be the manager? Well, get used to it, lady, because you'd be working for me if you want a job at McDonald's. Ow! Ugh. Seriously? I'm working for a teenager? Ugh. So, do you want the job or not? We're a bit short-handed, and I could use somebody right now. drive through is getting crazy. Well, I guess so. I need a job. And it's better than being homeless. Well, come on back here. I'll get you a uniform. 
And don't forget to say welcome to McDonald's. Okay. <laughs> is this uniform what they wear at McDonald's? Oh, we just got that updated uh, about a week ago. <laughs> you look awesome. And a little bit old in that uh, Happy Meal <laughs> hat. I mean, what are you, like 50? What? No, I'm not 50. Well, like I'm just saying, you're not like 15 or 16. No, I'm not. I should be the manager of this place. Okay, here's the drive through window. Make sure you're polite, you say hello. You didn't do that. Well, yeah, okay, but I'm the manager. I get to do what I want. Uh, Take a look around the place, though. Make sure you know what everything, where everything is. I see that. Okay, fine. Oh, I can't believe I'm working at McDonald's drive through How embarrassing that I'm a grown-up and having to wear this silly hat. Dad, I really want to have a Happy Meal. Okay, Molly, okay. And Dad, also, what's going on with your stash? I mean, that's new. Just trying something different. It looks like you have a caterpillar on your upper lip. <laughs> Very funny, Molly. Hi. Welcome to McDonald's. What can I get for you? Mom? What are you doing? And what are you wearing? <laughs> Is this some kind of joke? Actually, I would be really careful what you say to your mom because you're kind of the reason why she's working here. And what? Why are you working at McDonald's? I couldn't get any other job. And I didn't want us to be homeless. Oh, honey. I'm sure something else will come along, but for now, you do look pretty cute in that Happy Meal hat. Oh. Oh, I feel so dumb! Okay, well, um, anyway, enough talking. Come on, do your job. What? Yeah, uh, Molly wants a Happy Meal, and I would like a Big Mac meal, please. Okay, fine. We love you, honey. Have a good shift. Yeah, thank you. Hey everyone, it's me, Laura. I can't believe I'm actually making this Snapchat right now. So I'm su super embarrassed by this, but I'm wearing a Happy Meal on my head. It even has two chicken nuggets on the sides and french fries on the back. I feel ridiculous. Please just say something nice to me so that I feel better because I'm having a terrible day. Okay, bye. Oh, yay. Another customer. Okay, just try to be friendly, Laura, even though you hate your life right now. Hello? Are you going to take my order? Um, yes, but could you get a little closer to the window? It's it's really far away. I'm not going to be able to hand you your food like that, please. Oh, how rude. I can't believe you're talking to me like that. Uh, well, I, I can't reach you from all the way over there, and I want to be able to hand you your food. Like, you know, I don't want to drop your chicken nuggets on the ground. Fine, I'll back up. You need to <gasps> McDonald's cheese. Um, okay. <sighs> breathe, 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 okay. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. Um, what can I get for you today? How about a better attitude? I mean, every time I come through here, there's somebody that's grumpy. Oh, sorry about that. Um, what can I get for you? I'll have a 20 piece chicken McNuggets with French fries and, um, a Coke. Okay, um, sure. Um, that would be $35. What? $35? When did the prices at McDonald's go so high? Um, about four years ago or so. Oh, I can't believe this. McDonald's isn't even like what I really wanted. Well, you could always go to Burger King across the street. Just give me my order. Okay, fine. Bacon, is the order up yet? No, I was busy making a Snapchat. Okay, yeah, but this lady, she really wants her food, and I really want her gone. She's really miserable. Hey, listen, Happy Meal Head, I'll get it done when I get it done. Okay. I'm sorry, ma'am, but um, your order's taking a little longer than normal. Could you please pull up? What? You want me to pull up? Ugh, this is so annoying. Sorry, uh, it's just you, we're making your food really fresh. Yeah, that's it. Bacon, make that food! Is this what you ordered? Oh, we don't even serve popcorn here. What are you doing? Oh, you think that you're the manager or something? No, but I should be. This is ridiculous! Okay, I can't wait till this lady goes away. She seems really grumpy. Okay, where did she park? Oh, wait, there she is. She's still at the order window. What's she doing? Hey, I didn't feel like pulling forward. Oh, okay, well, here's all your meal, and um, you have a wonderful day. Thank you. This food better be fresh. It is. Bye. Ugh. Oh my gosh. I, can't I have to work here. This is 
is like the worst day of my life. Bacon? Get rid of, get with it. You were supposed to make the food. Uh, we have a customer and you're yelling at the manager. Hi, can I help you? Yeah, this girl who's yelling at you, she didn't even give me any napkins. That's <gasps> true, I gave you three napkins. Well, I wanted five. Okay, but you're only one person. How many napkins do you need? Are you the biggest slob in the world? Uh oh Whoa, um, sorry, lady, but obviously you don't understand how to be a good McDonald's, you know, employee and teammate. You're fired. Wait, what? I got fired from McDonald's? I just get to take a happy meal home. I'm hungry. You said I got a free meal on my lunch break. No. What? I want my happy meal! Worst day ever. Ew, what's that horrible smell? I don't know, I think it smells good. Oh, it's just your mom. Yeah, it's just your mom smelling like greasy french fries. Mm, greasy french fries. Mom, I think you should work there every single day for the rest of your life. Well, that's impossible since I got fired. What? <laughs>
Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh-huh. It looks like you're doing a great job brushing and flossing. How many times a day are you brushing and flossing? I brush in the morning after breakfast and floss. And then I can't really brush when I'm at school. Um, but I brush at night before bed and floss. Wow, that's great! Okay, well, you don't have any cavities, so you are done with your appointment. Really? That was quick and easy. Yeah, no cleaning this time, but I expect you to be back in a few months for your cleaning, okay? Sure thing, no problem! So, Daisy, did you get your teeth clean? No, she said next time. That's just her way of getting you used to being here at the dentist's office. Next time, she's definitely going to clean your teeth. It's okay. I trust Dr. Molo. Okay, Molly. You're next. So, Molly, have you been brushing and flossing? Yeah, because I don't want to have cavities. That stinks. Okay, Molly. Just say, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Whoa, you're drooling a lot, Molly. Sorry. <laughs> My nose is kind of stuffy, so... That's okay, Molly. Here you go. I have a bib for the babies that come in. I'm not a baby! <laughs> it's all right. Anyway, ooh, um, hmm. Was that a good ooh or a bad ooh? Um, not really a good or a bad. Just a noticing that your teeth are a little crooked. What? No, they're fine. My teeth are perfect. Actually, Molly, um, I'm going to recommend that you get braces. Say what? Braces? Nope, nope, nope. Pass. Hard pass on that one. Um, I don't think this is really an option, Molly, because your mom said if you needed braces, you should definitely get them. What? I don't want to. They might hurt. No, they won't hurt, Molly. And you'll look adorable in them. I have all different colors. Would you like pink, blue? What are you doing with that, 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 that tool? Uh-oh. Um, this is how I'm going to ratchet them on. Ratchet them? That sounds not very fun at all. I don't want to have them ratcheted on. It's okay, Molly. I just need to get my screwdriver and my drill and... No! No, 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 no. Molly, just trust me. I've been doing dentistry for so many years. I've done so many braces. Now, which color would you like? Huh. I guess purple. Awesome! Whoa, Molly, why does your face look so weird? Because it's still numb. Oh, no. Did you have to have a shot of Novocaine? Sure did. Well, let me see your teeth. Did she clean them? No, I don't want you to see my teeth. What? Why not? Because they just look different, okay? Molly, come on. Let me see. I don't need to show you my teeth, okay? <gasps> Molly! You got braces! Yeah, don't remind me. I like the little purple parts of it. They're really cute. You look adorable in braces. I... I do? Yeah, don't sweat it, Molly. You look so cute. You know, Daisy, sometimes you're the most annoying sister in the world. Uh, thanks? But what I mean to say is, sometimes you're also the world's best sister. Aww. Thanks for making me feel better. I was kind of embarrassed about having to get braces. Don't be embarrassed. You're taking good care of yourself by making your teeth look lovely and healthy. So, um, I think you should just get a purple, like, sweater to go with them. You're going to look adorable for school tomorrow. Yeah, don't remind me I have school tomorrow with braces. Hey, Molly, good morning. Hi, what's going on? What is going on with you? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. The dentist wired her mouth shut. <laughs> Really, Molly? Are you being serious? No, she's not. I'm not being serious about that. <laughs> Molly, seriously, are you going to open your mouth? No, probably not. Okay, well, you don't have to talk to your friend ever again if you don't want to, Molly, but I think it's silly. All right, Molly, I'm going to tell you a funny joke, and then you're going to have to open your mouth and talk to me. It's making me feel like you're mad at me or something. What? No, I'm not mad at you. Well, here's the joke. What did the Dalmatian dog say after it had lunch? What did it say, Brookie? She's great at jokes. It said, that hit the spot. <laughs> oh no, oh no, I can't laugh. I can't laugh. That <laughs> hit the spot. <laughs> Molly, whoa, you got braces. Well, 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 look who we have here. Brace face. What? What'd you call me? <laughs> Metal mouth, you look 
ugly. What? What? I? I? <laughs> what do you know? The principal isn't in her office. <laughs> Perfect. Um, is this thing on? Yeah, okay. So, we have a metal mouth in our school. Metal mouth, metal mouth. Her name is Molly Acker, and if you see her, make sure you laugh at her. <laughs> <gasps> is Sarah in my office? Oh, I'm so gonna catch her and give her detention. Better get out of here before I get caught. Sarah, I'm gonna give you detention. Wait a minute. She outsmarted me again. I'll never show my face in this school ever again. My mom and dad need to homeschool me. In this Brookhaven mini-movie, a sweet and ordinary baby is left on Dan and Laura's doorstep. They adopt her, but soon begin to wonder just how ordinary she is. It seems this baby has superpowers. But will the baby grow up to be a superhero or a villain? Watch this birth to death video all the way to the end to find out what happens. And guys, don't forget to like this video and comment below. So Dan, what should we do for dinner? I don't know, um, what about pizza? Dan, we had pizza last night. Yeah, but pizza's so good! Well, I guess we could order another pizza. I mean, we are adults, so we can have pizza two nights in a row, right? Yeah, and as long as we order a salad too, like, pff, it's healthy, right? Sure, sure it is. <sighs> Today was such an ordinary day. Yeah, but ordinary's good, right? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I just wish something really cool would happen for a change. Well, sometimes I wish that too. Whoa! The pizza place read my mind! Can't even believe that. Dan, I'm sure they didn't read your mind. We didn't even call for the pizza yet! Yeah, but the pizza delivery guy just left it on the front step! Or maybe it was Amazon. I did order that baby llama. What? A baby llama? S seriously? <laughs> No, but I did order a bunch of shampoo, conditioner, and a bunch of other stuff that I needed. Oh, you're always ordering from Amazon. I know, they have such good deals. Whoa, this box is heavy. Are you sure you didn't order a baby llama? I'm pretty sure, Dan. Bring it in here. I can't wait to see my new shampoo. Oh, only you could get excited about shampoo. <coughs> what was that? Sounds like your baby llama's crying. I didn't order a baby llama. It was a joke. Well, it, 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 it's coming from the box. Did you cry? Did you order crying shampoo? Is that like a new thing? Makes your hair super shiny when it cries. Uh, no, Dan. There's no such thing as crying shampoo. Then why is this box from Amazon crying? Um, I don't know. But I think we better open it and find out. <laughs> Just a little bit of tape here, and okay. OMG! It's a, it's a, it's a baby! <coughs> what? A baby? Oh my gosh! Oh, this is insane! Why, why would somebody drop off a baby? I don't know, but wow, she's adorable. She is quite cute. Hi, little baby. Hi, oh, I think we should name her Molly. Well, we can't name her yet. Maybe maybe someone is actually missing her. Uh, maybe, but I, I want to keep her. Dan, we need to call the police. Okay, but can we keep her if the police say we can? Yes, I think she'd be gr a great addition to our family. I agree. Hi, Molly. Hi, hi. 911, what's your emergency? Uh, well, it's not really an emergency. It's kind of the best thing ever happened to us, but... Um, well, someone delivered a box and... Oh, wow. Did you get a package from Amazon? What'd you get? Did you get that new shampoo? Oh, uh, no. My wife ordered that, though. But listen, there was a baby inside the box. What? Are you serious? Okay, I'll be right over. Oh, uh, you need to know our address, right? Uh, yes. One, two, three, four, Brookhaven Lane. Seriously? Your address is one, two, three, four? Hey, I didn't make it up. The town decided it. But yeah, it's a pretty easy address to remember. I'll be right there. Oh, hi, little baby. 
Oh, I so hope I get to be your mommy. Oh, Dan, I think she's hungry. Okay, well, I'm panicking. What should I do? I wasn't expecting a baby. I can't exactly feed her pizza. Hello, police, open up. Okay, you can come on in. All right. Where's the baby? Oh, I'm holding her over here. Oh, she's so adorable. Oh, uh, yeah, you can have a seat if you want to. <laughs> Make yourself at home, police officer. Well, I checked on the way over and no one is missing a baby. This baby hasn't even been reported missing. So maybe someone delivered it to you on purpose. Really? Like the stork or something? I don't know. But this baby has not been missing. It hasn't been reported at all. So if you want to adopt her, you can. Really? We'd love to adopt her. Aww. What are you going to name her? We've decided to name her Molly. Yeah, isn't that a great name? Aw, that's an adorable name. Well, if you need me for anything else, let me know. Just call 911 and I'll come to the rescue. Wow, I wasn't expecting a song. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, I sort of moonlight as a singer. Oh, you're very good at it. Okay, back to the baby. Good luck with your singing career or being a police officer or whatever you do. Bye! Okay, well, I guess I better go on the computer and fill out the paperwork. <laughs> if we're going to adopt this baby, we need to make it legal. <laughs> I love this cat video. Dan, focus! We're trying to adopt Molly here. It's very important. I'm sorry, I got a little distracted by the cat video. <laughs> it was super funny. Okay, that paperwork's been filed. She's our daughter. Oh, Molly, I can't believe it. Turned out to be, well, an extraordinary day. Yeah, here we were wishing that something really awesome would happen, and now it did. Well, I guess if you wish for something, it really can come true. Yeah, it really can. I think I'll find you. I think I'll find you. I Oh, it's getting very late. You need to go night night. Come on, little baby. I'll feed you a bottle, and then I'll put you to bed. La la la, la la la, la 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 la. Oh, good night, sweet Molly. I'll see you in the morning. Laura, I can't believe we became parents today. I know, right? Ugh, but being a mom is very tiring. Good night, Dan. Good night, Laura. <coughs> well, so much for going to bed. Yeah, I'll get her. Molly, Molly, <gasps> Molly! Whoa, 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 whoa. Where, where's her stroller? Where's the baby? Oh my God! Oh, Dan, the baby's missing. Dan. What? Huh? huh what? I left the stroller here, and 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 now it's gone. Wait, you put the baby in a stroller? What about a crib? Dan, we don't have a crib yet. We haven't even gone to the store. We weren't even expecting a baby. So I just had a stroller left over from my cousin visiting and she left it here. And so I thought, well, that'd be a perfect place for the baby to sleep. And now the baby is gone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down. Maybe the baby just rolled away. I mean, the stroller does have wheels. No, I locked the wheels. And where's she going to roll? The door was closed. I don't know, but... Wait a minute. I hear her. Sounds like it's coming from downstairs. Come on. M Molly? Are you watching Brookhaven High? Molly? How did, how did she get down here? I don't know, but she turned on the TV. She seems to like Brookhaven High. What? She's a baby. She couldn't do that. Uh, she's no ordinary baby. Well, I don't know, Dan, but it does seem kind of strange. Okay, Molly, it's time for a nice, delicious dinner. Ooh, that smells good, like Thanksgiving. No, I don't want to eat that. Oh, it's so good for you. Come on, you will love it. No, thank you, yucky. Molly, it's very healthy for you so you grow up big and strong. Here you go, Molly. Mmm, doesn't that smell good? Ew, I don't want it. Ew. 
That's much better. Wait a minute. Did she just turn her, her turkey dinner into ice cream? She's no ordinary child. Well, you sort of have a point, Dan. Mmm, ice cream, yum! Oh, look at her. She's still crawling. Yeah, but she needs to learn how to walk, Laura. It's time. Okay, Molly, watch Mommy. Watch Mommy. See how I walk? See? <laughs> it's so cool, right? Don't you want to walk? No, I don't want to walk. You have to walk, Molly. Come on. Just try it. It's going to be fun. I crawl. I, I crawl. I, I don't know. 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 No, come on, walking's so fun. Just try it one time, and if you don't like it, you never have to try to walk again. Well, Dan, I wouldn't tell her that. I mean, she eventually has to walk. What's she gonna crawl to prom? Uh, yeah, good point. Come on, just try it, Molly. You're gonna like walking. Okay, I try once. Well, she's standing up, Laura. Okay, now just one foot in front of the other, Molly. Whee! Whee! Um, Dan, she's walking really fast. I keep telling you, she's no ordinary child. I ran into things! Ow! Ow! <laughs> oh, it's okay, Molly. Trust me. You're going to learn how to, to walk just soon enough. Uh, I think she already knows how to walk, Dan. I think she just has to learn how to not run into things. <sighs> wow, all that fast walking really made her tired. Well, time for a nap then. Oh man, I forgot my lunch money. Give me your lunch. Um, I could share it with you if you want, or you could borrow the money from me, but I need to have lunch because I have gym after and I'm going to be super hungry. No, I don't want half your lunch and I don't want your money. I just want your lunch. Um, I don't... I don't want you to take my lunch. Please, please don't take my lunch. Uh, hello? I'm taking your lunch. Give it to me. But, but that's my lunch. Not anymore, loser. Now it's my lunch. What? What is this? What? She just stole Brookie's lunch? I'm really hungry. I, 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 I need that food because I'm hungry. <laughs> Brookie, it's, it's gonna be okay. I, I'll help you get your lunch back. You will? How? She's the biggest bully in school. Don't worry about a thing. Watch this. Here you go, Brookie. What? How, how did you do that? <gasps> You're a witch! She's an evil witch! I am not a witch. How did you do that, Molly? Never mind how I did it. Here's your lunch. I'm gonna get you detention forever! Because you're a witch! Ugh, she's so annoying. Come on, let's have lunch. Do you want to share with me, Molly? Nah, I brought my own. Molly, that's not a healthy lunch. Mmm, but it's a delicious one. Ooh, they've got pizza too. Oh, that looks so good. After I finish this, of course. What'd you get? A cheeseburger and some fries and stuff. Mmm, well, I'm glad you got your lunch and Sarah didn't. Yeah, she is a total witch. Yep, I saw it with my own eyes. Witch, evil witch. I know. I couldn't believe it either, but it's the truth. Hmm. This new ice cream shop has the most delicious ice cream in the whole world. Ah! Help! I don't know how to swim! Oh my gosh! That little kid is drowning! Don't worry! I'll save you! I can't get out! Okay, hang on to me. Hang on to me, okay? No! no, 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 no. It's gonna be okay. Just get on my shoulders, okay? Ah! Oh my gosh! You, you just saved that little girl. She's a superhero. Oh my gosh, I, I, I'm speechless. I don't even know what to say. Um, uh, it's just kind of something I do, you know? Like, I walk around town and, um, well, I I just help people who need help. Oh my gosh, you're amazing. Oh, gee, thanks. I, 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 I was just being myself. Yourself is pretty cool. Oh, thank you. Oh, Lily, you're so adorable. Sweet little girl. I think your daddy's going to be home from work soon. Molly, Lily, I'm home from work. See? <laughs> I can just tell when people are coming to the house even before they get here. Something in my brain just tells me. 
Oh, there's my girls. Oh, my family. Hey, Luke, how was work today? It was good. You know, <laughs> I just saved some people, and but I'm not a superhero like you. <laughs> well, it's good to see you, and you're my superhero. And Lily's too. What's for dinner? I was thinking pizza. What do you think? Sounds good to me. Oh my gosh, the superhero phone is ringing. Here, Luke, take the baby. Hi, baby, hi. Superhero Molly. <coughs> what? He okay, I'll be right there. Oh no, don't tell me I'm getting takeout again. Sorry, but duty calls, honey. Bye. We love you, mommy. Oh man, it's raining. I just got my hair done. Honey, I'm home. Oh, there you are, dear. Oh, looking as beautiful as... Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened to your teeth? Ah, one of the villains knocked them out again. Oh, dear. <laughs> are you ever going to give up being a superhero? You're getting old now. We're both in our 70s. I feel fit as a fiddle. Oh, you got some groceries, I see. Nah, this is the bag with my teeth in them so the dentist can put them back in. Oh, oh, I was hoping you would have stopped and got me some Maalox. <laughs> My stomach kind of upset. Oh, Luke, <laughs> you and your stomach. Oh, I'm just getting too old. Nonsense, you're not that old. I am, though. Oh, I could die at any moment, actually. Oh. Luke? Luke, say something! Oh, my time is coming to an end. But it looks like you have super genes, Molly, and you don't age, so you'll be around long after me. <laughs> Luke! No! I can't live without you, Luke! You're the love of my life! <laughs> Seriously, Luke, say something! Anything! Oh no, I've outlived him! I'm gonna outlive everybody because I'm a superhero and I have superhero genes. Oh. I can't believe it. Dad died. But mom, you still look like you're 25. I know. It's just, it's my super genes. It basically means that I'm gonna outlive everyone. Mom, I'm just sad that dad died. I know, honey. I'm sad too. Your dad was a wonderful person. Mom, I... I have a confession to make. What? What is it? Um, well, for one, I think you should have your teeth put back in. Don't worry, I saved them in a bag, see? <laughs> I'm ready to go to the dentist any day now. Once we get the funeral and everything over. Ew, Mom, that's gross. Your teeth are in a bag? Yeah, well, I had to keep them if the dentist is gonna put them back in. Um, Mom, I've gotta show you something. Okay, I'm... I'm watching. What? She's running super fast! Lily? Oh my gosh, she, she, she's a... That's right, Mom, I'm a superhero. I'm probably gonna live forever too. Lily, that's great news! We'll never be alone and we can save the entire town of Brookhaven from, from villains! That's right, Mom, I just hope I keep all my teeth. <laughs> Don't worry, it's just a part of the job. Your dad would be so proud. Thanks, Mom, thanks. Yes, you are, Marley. You were supposed to be here by now. Yes, but I still have, uh, let me look at my watch. Uh, five seconds to get into class. <laughs> no smiling? That's right. I'm not feeling like I'm in a very smiley mood today. Whoa, who's this substitute teacher? I don't know, but something tells me it's not going to be a very nice day. Are you still smiling? Seriously. There's no smiling in my class. I can't help it. My face froze this way. It's so cold outside. <laughs> Wasn't that funny? Froze that way because it's so cold outside. Molly, she's not laughing. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes, you in the front. What's your name? Molly, um, are you calling on me? Yes, Molly. What is it? I have to go potty. I have to go. I have to go. I have to go. You had plenty of time before class. Why are you choosing to go now? 
Well, I can't help it when I have to go to the bathroom. It's kind of out of my control. Why do teachers always say that? Like, like you can decide when you have to go to the bathroom. Hello? Not a choice. <laughs> I really have to go. She really does. Ew. She had beans for breakfast, obviously. Fine, but make it quick. <laughs> yeah, like another thing teachers say, make it quick. Like, I can really decide when I have to go to the bathroom and stuff. Like, seriously. I'm going to text Brookie right now. Hey, don't act like you don't text people when you're going potty. <laughs> don't even lie about that right now. Everybody gets on their phone when they're on the toilet. It's just, it's just like the real world. Oh, whoops. I forgot to turn off my phone. Oopsie. Whose phone just went off? This is school, not social hour. It's Molly. She's texting me from the bathroom. What? Why would she be doing that? Ay, ay, ay. She's just gonna get another detention. It's just the way that it is. Brookie, why didn't you text me back? Excuse me, were you the one that texted her? Um, yeah. There's no texting in this school. It's a rule. Except for when you're at lunch or recess. Are you at lunch or recess? Um, uh, I'm always thinking about lunch. So I'm saying yes, I'm at lunch. Detention. <laughs> but not by me, I'm a substitute. So I'll write your teacher a note. Oh man. Rookie, that class was crazy, right? Uh-huh, sure, crazy. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Um. so what are you doing after school? I don't have detention because the substitute didn't want to stay for it. So we could hang out. Uh, no. I I don't think so. Wait, what? Brookie, we hang out every single day after school. Well, on the days that I don't have detention, that is. No, I, I'm i not going to hang out with you. Um, okay. I have to get to class now. Goodbye. Um, bye. That was weird. Brookie always wants to hang out with me after school. Man, I hope I didn't do something wrong. I mean... I always text her when I, like, escape off to the bathroom during class. And maybe it got her in trouble and she got mad at me. I don't know. I'll talk to her about it at lunch. Ugh, none of this even looks like something I would consume. Hey, Brookie, doesn't everything look delicious? No, I'm not going to eat anything. Why, you got the stomach flu? No, I just don't want to eat anything, okay? Whoa, Brookie, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Well, um, you could drink some of this water. Whoa, be careful with that, Molly. Oh, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to almost spill water on you. Ugh, I'm sorry, I'm doing everything wrong today, Brookie. It, it's fine, just, just don't spill water on me, okay? Why, you gonna short circuit or something? <laughs> uh, no, that, that's not even funny, okay? All right, sorry. What's going on with my BFF? I mean, seriously. Hi, Large Mudge. Everything looks delish today. Oh, so glad you like it. I was gonna put anchovies on the pizza, but I know you kids don't like that too much. It's good protein, though. Ew, fish on my pizza? Don't even think about it, Large Marge. Why are you so sad, Molly? Well, you see, my best friend is... She's, she's just acting differently. Oh, well, maybe she's just having a bad day. We all have those. Yeah. Maybe. I need to find out what Brookie is doing right now. She doesn't want to hang out at my house. That's so weird. She was grumpy and jumped back from the water that I almost spilled on her. I mean, well, that's not that weird, but sort of. I want to know what's going on with her. Are we not BFFs anymore? I have to make sure she knows that I'm not spying on her. If she finds that out, man, she won't want to be my friend at all. What's she working on? One more adjustment, and it be perfect. What is that? Brookie doesn't work on things in the garage. <gasps> My best friend is a robot! Is somebody there? Hello? Oh, better run. Oh my god. My best friend! She's not real! She's a robot! I gotta tell Daisy. Daisy! 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 Molly, shh. I'm trying to do my homework. Big surprise there, but, 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 but. Whoa, you look like you've seen a ghost, Molly. Have you? Um, because that would be creepy and we should probably move out of Brookhaven. No, worse. Worse than a ghost? What could it be? 
My best friend, Brookie, she's a robot! What? What are you talking about? Look, all of the signs point towards robot. She didn't want to hang out after school. Weird! She didn't want me to spill water on in the lunchroom because I think she would short circuit. Weird! Then I just went by her house to spy on her and... You spied on your best friend? I had to! And turns out she's not my best friend. She's a robot version of my best friend. I saw her building something for her robotness. Body, whatever you want to call it. Robotness, is that even a word? <laughs> uh, no, I just made it up. But anyway, why didn't they come to me to school people on how to speak um awesome words? I obviously know what I'm doing. What? What are you even talking about? <laughs> anyway, I'm telling you, she was working on her robot body. Holy guacamole! You don't believe me, do you, Daisy? You never believe me! You always say these are tall tales, fairy tales! Oh, this is no fairy tale, Molly. And yes, I believe you. Truth is, robots have come a long way in the last ten years. And I think this is absolutely a possibility. You do? Oh, I was kind of hoping you'd say that I was being ridiculous. No, Molly, we definitely have to test it. See if it's a robot or not. Yeah, tomorrow we'll spill lunch on Robot Brookie and see what happens. Good plan, Molly. Good plan. There she is, Daisy. We can prove that she's a she's a robot now. I hope everything goes as planned, Molly. Robots can be totally psycho. Yeah, here goes nothing. Hey, Brookie. Oh, hey, Molly. What's up? Hey, um, I, I just have to prove something to my sister. What are you doing with that water can? Do it look like a flower to you? No, but sorry about this. What? What are you doing? You're getting me soaking wet. Stop that. I have to go through the whole rest of the day now with wet clothes. Uh-oh. Wait. Why aren't you short-circuiting? What? More water. More water is needed. Molly. It's obvious. Your science experiment has failed. What? Wait. What? What are you guys doing? My sister thought you were a robot. Yeah, you are a robot, aren't you? What? <laughs> are you serious right now? <laughs> you thought I was a robot? What? Why? Because first you didn't want to hang out with me after school. Weird. Then you did not want to eat any lunch. Robots don't eat food. And you were freaking out I was going to spill water on you because you would short circuit. Is she for real right now, Daisy? I'm afraid so. Then I came and spied on you, and you were working on something in the garage. What? Uh -oh. You spied on me? That's just rude. Well, what were you working on in the garage, huh? 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 Um, my science fair project? Oh. Oopsie. Wow. They should have, like, some sort of show about this. Uh, it would be really good. <laughs> The lives of cafeteria students. Yeah, I can see it now. Ha <laughs> Large Marge, that's a great idea. Um, we're sorry, Pookie. I'm really sorry for believing my sister's craziness. Hey! I, 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 I just couldn't figure out what was going on with you, Brookie. Well, it's okay, Molly. I'm sorry if I have been acting kind of like a robot. I guess that's what happens when you haven't slept good for two weeks. What? You haven't slept good for two weeks? Why? Well, let me explain. Ugh, that is so loud. I can't sleep. I'm so tired of this. That's it. My new band is awesome. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? It's midnight. Huh? What's, what's that, sister? I said it's midnight and I haven't gotten any sleep. Well, my first gig is this Saturday and I need to practice, okay? I want to be the best I can be. Well, practice at a normal time! Obviously, you don't know anything about musicians. We stay up late, sleep all day. Ugh! So, that's why I've been acting a little bit like a robot lately. I feel like a robot with no sleep. I haven't even wanted to eat anything, really. I've just been so tired. Well, you could do what I do and just leave class and say, I have to go to the bathroom and then fall asleep on the toilet. <laughs> Molly! What? Sometimes I need a little nap. That actually doesn't sound like a bad idea. I think I'm going to go try it. I'm glad you're not a robot, Brookie. 
Um, yeah, me too. And I'm glad we're still friends. We're friends, right? Of course we are, Molly. I know how zany and crazy you can be sometimes. And I still love you because you're my BFF. Aww. Thanks, Brookie. Thanks. button guys today we're playing good or bad abby and everybody knows where molly's gonna be i'm gonna be a perfect little angel sure you are molly sure i think one of us should be an angel and one of us should be a demon um well then you should obviously be the demon <laughs> molly you're the one that gets attention all the time you have to be the demon okay fine i'm the demon <laughs> And I'm a beautiful angel. I'm a beautiful angel, huh? Molly, quit being so rude. No, I don't have to be. I'm a demon, so I can be as rude as I want. <laughs> All right, um, you can be good or bad on this level, it says. But you cannot go on the angel side if you're a demon. And you cannot go on the demon side if you're an angel. Mm. So this Abby is definitely different, guys. If you think it's cool, slam that like button. So here I am, guys, on the demon side because my sister made me choose to be a demon. Yeah. Molly, you're a demon all on your own. I'm beating her right now. Yeah, because you're a cheater, cheater, pumpkin, demon. <gasps> Listen. What? No, I'm not. Because cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Yes, but you're a cheater, cheater because you're a demon. Bum, 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 ba -da -ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. So if I try to go on the light side over here, it lets me... Seriously? Oh, no, I died. <laughs> you can buy a can't die immunity, though, but I don't know why you do that and play an obby. Like, that's not very fun. I'm already at stage eight. I'm beating Daisy so horribly right now because I am so much better at being a demon than she is at being an angel. Maybe she's really a demon and <laughs> she just doesn't want to admit it to herself. Whatever, Molly. I'm right behind you, by the way. Uh-oh. Let me see. Oh, my God. She is right behind me, guys. I'm a hurry. I got a Herbie, gotta use these demon wings to kiss farther ahead than her. That was a terrible demon song. Yeah, I gotta work on my demon delivery here. Like, seriously, that was that was not a good song. I'll even admit it. Wait, what's this? I, oh, I have to, I get to go around? Is that what it is? Oh, and then I get a ladder. Cool! All right, let's see who beats the other person at this part, Daisy. It's gonna be me. Cause I'm an angel. Oh, it was like a tie, Daisy. But now I am beating you. I am a cute little demon. Molly, you can't be a cute little demon. Demons are evil. Look at me, guys. Do you think I'm cute? Ah! I just died. Oh, my God. I didn't mean to die there. Do you guys think I'm a cute demon? Slam the like button if you think I am. I think I'm adorable. Bling. Boing, boing. Ha ha ha! See you later! The good in the light always wins, Molly. We'll see about that. <laughs> ah, if I don't die. Which is seeming pretty hard not to. Holy guacamole. Ah, ah, ah! What? Oh, I can't go down those stairs. It tricked me. So many stairs, so many stairs. Oh, Daisy died too. Whatever, Molly. I didn't mean to. Uh, you never do, Daisy. You never do. All right, guys. We're about a quarter of the way through this obby. Look, you can pay to finish the obby. I just want to see how much that is. Because, like, why would you pay money to finish this obby? 500 Robux, guys, to cheat and go all the way to the end. You should definitely buy it, Molly. I would, but there's some giant amazing donuts right here. Oh, they're so good. Molly, don't you eat too many. You get a stomach ache. Ow. Listen to this angel over here. Don't eat too many donuts. Good thing I'm a demon. I can do whatever I want, and I want to eat all these donuts. Okay, suit yourself. Get a stomachache. Get a stomachache. You're annoying. You said something mean. You're not an angel after all. Uh, whatever, Molly. I tried to be nice to you, but you're just so... What? Demony? Demony? <laughs> Alright, this is like an old school obby, like, 
before like Packstabber and all those guys came out with the super awesome obbies where it was like you're actually playing a story. These are just like kind of run of the mill obbies, but what is that? It's like I went through like a giant thing of trash. But it's cool because you get to be either be an angel or a demon. That's what makes this obby so cool. My sister is a nagging angel. You ever hear one of those? Uh-oh! Whatever, I'm just trying to do the most good, Molly. I bet. I bet, Daisy. All right, I think these are disappearing stairs, guys. Look, they they match my body and my wings. That is so awesome. Guys, if you would play this obby, slam that like button. I think it's pretty cool, and we're halfway through. Stage 29, guys, and we've only been playing for, like, five minutes. So I think that's amazing, guys, don't you? I think that's so amazing. Ooh. What just happened? Look, at I have, like, an evil little face, too. All right, I think this one, next one is like a tricksy one. All right, there we go. Made it. Giant slices of pizza. Mm. Even after you ate all of those donuts, let me use a sin, Molly. What? I want to eat all the donuts and pizza. I love them. If eating donuts and pizza is wrong, I don't want to be right. All right, um, right, let's go through these glass walls and see if I can not die. I was doing so good and then I died at the end. Here, then here, then here, then here. Bum ba da da. Oh, this is like this is like a roller coaster. Without the cart. <laughs> I ate so much pizza right now, guys. It was delicious. I'm not even gonna lie. I ate pizza in real life today, too. Oh, it was so good. It had pepperoni and cheese. My two favorite things. What do you... Oh, my gosh. I was thinking about pizza and then I died. What's your favorite thing to eat on a pizza, guys? Let me know in the comment section below. Do you like anchovies? What? Do you really, guys? Don't lie. Do you like pineapples? Maybe you're from California. I know they eat um, pineapple on their pizza there. I know because I took a trip to California once to this place called Carmel by the Sea. And I got pizza there. By the way, it was beautiful there. Um, but yeah, you have to be, like, uh, mega, 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 mega rich to live there permanently. So I just, I visited. And we went to a pizza shop, and guess what, guys? Um, mm. all of their pizza pretty much had, um, pineapple. And I was like, um, I don't eat pineapple on my pizza. And they were like, what? Get out! Just kidding, they didn't tell me to get out. But they were like, well, I guess we could take the pineapple off the pizza for you, but why? Why would you do something so awful to your pizza? I'm like, um, I'm from the east, and we don't eat pineapple on our pizza here. We just eat pepperoni. They're like, ew, pepperoni, gross! <laughs> well, Molly, this was a crazy story. You're getting very far behind on this abbey. Well, it was a very important one to tell people. Whoa, 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 this is trying to make me slide off and die. Uh oh That's not very nice. The demon will curse you. Just remember that. Oh my god, there are lava squares here. Definitely not nice. You can be good or bad on this level. I'm just gonna be me, Molly. Sometimes good, sometimes have these little demon horns. But always me. Never give up and never surrender. You can do anything. Never give up and never surrender. I am a demon. That's not how it goes, Molly. For today it is, because I'm playing this demon obby. It's a good or evil obby, not just a demon obby. Well, I'm the one that's making this video. So I say it's a demon obby. Oh, how do I even live with her as a sister? Boing, boing. Guys, I wondered the same thing. So I thought about moving out and I made a video about it. If you guys want to watch it, it's on my best friend Brookie Baby's channel, Gaming with Brookie. And, um... I think you guys will think it's pretty cool. Yeah, did you like living by yourself, Molly? Today, I'm thinking it'd be a good idea, Daisy. I'm thinking it would be a good idea. Me too, see you. Uh oh Oh my gosh, I'm jumping on pitchforks. Daisy is jumping on clouds. All right, that's pretty cute. <laughs> Boing. All right, where's my level? You can be good or bad on this level, Molly. Okay, good. Whew. 
I only died a few times. That was pretty good. Oh, this ladder's gonna be forever, isn't it? We're going to the top of the noob. Then what? Then we're about to win Molly Wee! <laughs> that slide was fun. I want to play as uh, an angel next time. Uh-huh. You probably won't even be allowed. What? Why? Because you're so naughty. They're going to be like, nope, you're kicked out of the game. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, Look at When I go for the black, you can't even see my horns. You might not be able to see them. We all know it's Tokyo Mari. Um, where is Daisy going? Going up to the sky with all the other angels. Guess where you're going? <laughs> Detention? Something like that, Mari. Something like that. Um, uh, guys, I don't like where this is heading. This seems like bad. I'm just keep going down all these stairs. More stairs, more stairs. Uh-oh. One eternity later. Uh-oh. Well, I made it to the end, even though I had to go down, 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 down where the demons live. <laughs> All right, guys, where's my sister? I'm in heaven. Oh my gosh, where'd you get those balloons? I want them. Only angels get them. <laughs> oh, that's so rude. Uh-oh, she's getting angry. Watch out for demon money. <laughs> Wait, what? They're a demon and an angel? I'm so confused right now. 